I mean, I, I think you know, we were a little demoralized early um, when we were creating great looks for ourselves and they didn't go. Um, you know, I thought we played good basketball in the first quarter, uh, but we missed open shots and we allowed that to impact us uh, for the remainder of the game. You know, we continued to scrap. I thought our defense was pretty good. We made some, some mistakes where, you know, we felt we were desperate and needed to make a home run play uh, instead of just being solid defensively. Um, but, you know, again, we, I thought we competed on that end of the floor for sure. And with you saying just adversity and being down in the game um, tonight, the majority of the game, I know that you said you guys were going to face adversity. How do you think they did handle it, knowing that it was a tough shooting night? Was, what was your message to your team um, after the game? Uh, just be who we are. You know, there was moments where, you know, the adversity hit um, and we decided that, you know, we needed to take it upon ourselves uh, individually to go out and get it done. Um, you know, in those moments for us, you know, that's when we have to hunker down as a team and we have to go into that trench with all five guys on the floor and just make the next right play. Um, you, know, you don't have to be a hero. We can be a part of the team, uh, and the team is greater than any of us individually. Chris Fedor. Chris Fedor, Cleveland.com. Hey, JB, do you feel like that trait is habitual? And, and if so, how difficult is that to change? Uh, it, it's, you know, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Right, a guy wanting to make a play to help the team uh, win is not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, it's us training ourselves in the moment, right, over and over again, the belief in the team. And you know, in Detroit, obviously, we had the same opportunity present itself. Um, you know, tonight we had the opportunity, but you know, we started playing with some despair. You know, more than belief. Uh, and I think that was the difference. At Detroit game, we played with belief. Uh, tonight, we played with despair, uh, trying to make every single play, you know, every possession mattered that much more uh, to get back and get in this game. As a coach, when you have one of these kinds of games where you shoot it the way that you do, um, how do you look at it after the fact? Uh, you, you look at how, how you created the shots. And are they your guys that you want to take those shots? Um, and again, when I, you know, I'll go back obviously and watch the film, but the way we created the shots you know, was good basketball. Uh, it was playing the right way. You know, it was sharing the ball. It was making the extra pass and we were open, you know, and we got to keep taking open shots uh, and just, uh, you know, trust that our training uh, and the reps we put in, We'll play the percentages and we'll make our fair share. Kelsey? Kelsey Russo, The Athletic. JB, going to, talking about the defense specifically in that fourth quarter, um, when there was that desperation on the offensive end, were you pleased, though, with the defensive effort to just guard the way that the, the, the Knicks, the way that you guys did, even, even in those moments of, de like, desperation? Yeah, I mean, I, I, again, I, I think we competed. I think we really scrapped, um, you know, uh, there were moments where we lost our discipline, um, but it wasn't because of a lack of effort or a lack of commitment to it. Um, you know, again, I just, we made some plays out of desperation uh, and the Knicks made us pay for it. So, so give them some, you know, some credit too. Spencer Davies. Hey, JB, Spencer Davies, basketballnews.com. Uh, in that third quarter, what do you think both teams, uh, you know, did to – it seemed like things got mucked up a little bit. Uh, there really wasn't much rhythm between either of you guys uh, just in that third quarter as a whole. Uh, why do you think things kind of felt like uh, guys were in quicksand almost? Um, you know, I think the physicality picked up. Um, you know, there was a lot of bumping and a lot of holding. 
Um, you know, they're bumping you off your spot and we're bumping them off their spots. You know, guys were just getting after it. Um, you know, and again, we're in the learning process right now. So our responsibility is to learn from that. You know, so instead of using their force against them, right, and cutting harder and getting more backdoor cuts uh, to loosen up the defense, you know, we've got to execute those things better. Um, so this was a good opportunity, a good learning opportunity and experience for us so that we can learn that and see it uh, and then be prepared for it moving forward. And then the way you got, you're talking about your guys, it seems like you didn't get away from the identity that you're trying to go with. So as a coach, how can you use this as, as a way of encouragement and, uh, you, you know, a way to, to constructively criticize going forward? Um, I mean, it, you know, for us, it's about being honest, you know, um, telling people the truth uh, is the most important thing, you know, in creating what we're trying to create here. Um, you know, again, I, I do believe, uh, you know, we gave the effort, you know, it wasn't a lack of effort that led to this. Um, you know, it was us experiencing something different. We had made shots up until this point. You know, so tonight we didn't make shots uh, and we have to learn how to respond when the things aren't going well for us offensively. You know, what's the next step? Uh, and I think that's where uh, we're a work in progress and still working to grow. Yan. Hey, JB, it's for Cavs fans. So uh, the Cavs are the best, uh, one of the best team in average assists. Is this a main point of the new offensive strategy? Uh, yeah, um, you know, we're trying to move the ball more. Uh, we're trying to share it, uh, let everybody be a part of it, let everybody touch it. Um, but it's a big emphasis that we put in uh, of how we want to play systematically. Okay. And uh, despite the lose, what can we learn positive about this game? Uh, you know, I, I think we'll learn a lot. Um, you know, like I said, obviously we'll go back and watch the film. Um, but, you know, again, how do we take the next step? Uh, and the next step is, you know, when things don't go your way, how do you respond? You know, what's plan B? Um, and I think that's where, you know, again, we've got to get back in the gym uh, and continue to prepare ourselves and find our plan B uh, and execute our plan B. So I think it's a great learning experience for us. Uh, you know, you obviously hate to take the loss, but um, you want to learn from it and be put in these positions so you can get better. All right, last one, Fedor. Maybe looking out at the court right now, you've got five guys from your roster um, taking extra shots after a game, after a bad shooting night. What, if anything, does that mean to you as a coach in terms of the culture that you're trying to establish here? that it's headed in the right direction. Um, you got guys who care and you got guys who want to get better. Um, the game matters to them. Um, you know, that's important and that's special. So, you know, it, it speaks to the character of our group. This doesn't sit well with them. So um, the fact that they're out there working, um, you know, speaks to them. 